for the beams loaded as shown by area moment method determine the slope and deflection at the free end of each of the loading shown EI is constant so take note that we solve this in example 100c by double integration method this time let's solve this problem by the area moment method so for the first situation this is the beam and the moment diagram by parts so we have the tangent at b tangent at a and that's the angle theta and supposedly this is the deviation of point a relative to the tangent at b which is horizontal so deviation of a relative to the tangent at b is automatic the deflection at a also so this is the moment diagram by parts this is negative the horizontal line is here so therefore for theta theta a b it is area between a and b so theta ab is equal to length times this is negative m over ei so therefore it is negative ml over ei theta therefore the negative sign means that the tangent at a which is inclined upward to the tangent at b is clockwise the rotation is clockwise clockwise rotation is negative but the slope at the free end is positive because it is inclined up to the right therefore in general theta is ml over ei then for deviation of a relative to the tangent at b which is automatic delta it is equal to the area l times negative m over ei times moment arm with respect to a l over 2 so therefore delta is negative ml square over 2 ei then for the second situation the moment diagram by part is a triangle with the magnitude at b negative pl so that's still theta negative pl over ei so the centroid is the location of the centroid from the free end a is two-thirds of l so for the area theta ab is equal to the area of this moment diagram by parts with this triangle one half of l times negative pl over ei or negative pl square over 2 ei the negative sign means that the tangent at a to the tangent at b is clockwise the rotation is clockwise and clockwise rotation is negative that's why this is negative but the slope at a is positive therefore theta is equal to pl square over 2 ei then for deviation of a relative to the tangent at b because the reference tangent at b is horizontal that deviation is automatic delta so it is one half of l times negative pl over ei the moment arm of the centroid of area from the from the free end which is a is two thirds of l cancel out two so delta is equal to negative pl square over 3 ei pl cube over 3 ei rather then for the third situation the moment here at the wall the degree of the moment diagram by parts is second degree this is zero degree plus two so it is a spandrel of parabola with value w times l times l over 2 or wl square over 2 ei that's negative the location of the centroid from the vertical leg is l over 4 l over n plus 2 l over 2 plus 2 so l over 4 so therefore the distance of the centroid from point a is three-fourths of l so dv for the area 1 over n plus 1 or one third of l times negative wl square over 2 ei and that is theta ab one third of l times negative wl square over 2 ei and that is negative wl cube over 6 ei 
but the slope at the free end A is positive. The negative sign indicates that the tangent at A to the tangent at B rotate clockwise, so that's why negative sign, but the slope at the free end A is positive. So it is WL cube over 6EI. Now for the deviation of A relative to the tangent at B, that's the moment of area with respect to A. So it is equal to one third of L times negative WL squared over 2EI times moment arm, which is three fourths of L. So canceling out three, so it is negative delta is negative WL to the fourth over 8 EI. Then for the fourth case, so the moment at the wall is one half of L times W times L over three. That would be negative WL square over six EI. The location of the centroid from the vertical leg is in general L. This is third degree. So therefore, this is L over 3 plus 2. Which is L over 5. So therefore, the distance of the centroid from A is 4 fifths of L. So, theta is the area of the diagram. Theta AB is 1 fourth, 1 over n plus 1, 1 over 3 plus 1, so 1 fourth oil times negative WL square over 6 EI. So that's negative WL cube over 24 EI. But the slope at the free end is positive. It is WL cube over 24 EI. WL cube over 24 EI. While the Deviation of A relative to the tangent at B is this area, same area times moment arm, which is four thirds of four fifths of L. So deviation of A relative to the tangent at B, which is delta, is one fourth of L times negative W L square over six E I times four fifths of L. Cancelling out four. So it is delta is negative W L to the fourth over thirty E I. So for the general case, the degree of the loading is n minus 2, where n is the degree of the moment diagram due to this loading. So if the degree of the curve is, for example, 1, it is triangular, so that means so n minus 2 is 1, so the degree of the moment diagram would be third degree for that case. So we will call the moment at the walls at this fixed end as M wall. Then this is the degree of the moment diagram. This is M of the wall over EI, M at the wall over EI rather. So the location of the centroid from the vertical is L over N plus 2 in general. Therefore, when we have deviation of A relative to the tangent at B, so that's the moment of this area with respect to A. So therefore, the distance of the centroid from A is L minus L over N plus 2. And if we simplify, that's L times N plus 1 over N plus 2. NL plus 2L minus L all over N plus 2. So that is L times N plus 1 over N plus 2. So theta AB is the area which is 1 over N plus 1 in general times L times M wall over EI. Moment at the wall for, due to the loading is negative. So therefore, and the interpretation is negative because the tangent at A to the tangent at B rotate clockwise and clockwise rotation is negative but the slope at a is positive so theta in general is ei theta in general is moment of the wall l over n plus one and please 
familiar with this formula because we can use this in superposition methods, especially for indeterminate beams. Then for the deviation of A relative to the tangent at B, it is the moment of area with respect to A. So negative MWL over N plus 1, that's the area over EI. Then moment arm is L times N plus 1 over N plus 2. Canceling out N plus 1, so in general, EI delta is M moment to the wall, L square over N plus 2 downward. So I do not put the negative sign, but it is its direction is downward. That's the general formula that I want you to familiar, especially when we apply this to superposition method.